So, how's Sam today? Mm, fine. Usual. Oh. He's a star. He really is, isn't he? Right, let's do this. So, we've got the um, diagnosis now, which is great, because it means we can get things going now. There's something I need to say at the outset. Um, we will not do anything without your express permission, okay? Only you can make the right decisions for Sam. You're the expert. No. No, you are. He is your son. I follow your lead. Understand? Good. Right. First things first. Money. Now, you should be eligible for something called a disability living allowance. It's not an easy process, but I can help you with the paperwork. In fact, we can get this sorted out today if you want to. What's that for? Well, um, it can help pay for therapies, um, living support. It can even cover you know, the things he breaks. I smashed my phone yesterday. Yeah, very common. Are they sure? How do you mean? The doctors. Are they sure it's not something else? Yeah, yeah, as sure as we can be. This diagnosis is a good thing, Jess, really. I know. It's just... Having an answer takes away the possibility that it could be anything else. Something less permanent. Well, we know now that that was never a possibility. Sam has FASD. But we can help him. You're not alone in this. We can use um, a joined up approach. We can involve the doctors, the school, social workers, and everyone will be there to help you. Can we, can we have some time to think about it? Is that okay? Yeah, of course. No, all of this is optional. Only you know what's best for Sam. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know it's a lot now, but it will get easier. Is he ever going to get better? That is a, a difficult question to answer. The thing with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder is, is exactly that, it's a spectrum. So everyone's condition is unique. It's like a fingerprint. But what usually happens, like what's the average? Okay, well, chances are um, Sam's development will continue at the slow rate it's already on. But then there is the possibility that it might plateau. But it's impossible to say when. And his behaviour? So his brain processes things differently. His inhibitions, his emotions. But we can put things in place to support him and you and your partner. And the help will be there for the rest of Sam's life. The rest of his life? It's just... No, I can't. No, listen, you can say anything here. I don't judge. I can't. It's terrible. You're not going to get your head around this unless you get it all out. It's just... It wasn't supposed to be like this for us. When he came to us, we love him so much. Why can't we help him? We were supposed to give him a better life. It's not fair. I, I, I just want to help him. You listen to me. Listen. 
you've already helped him. Sam was only coming into this world with FASD. You're the only parents he has. His life will always be better for having you in it. But he wasn't always going to be born with it, was he? I mean, if his birth mother hadn't drank, none of this would have happened. It's not like it's genetic or something. This was entirely preventable. And we are the ones left dealing with the consequences for the rest of our lives. He's not... He's not going to get better, is he? There's no guarantees with parenting, with FASD or without it. But look, I promise I'm going to do everything I can to make things easier for, for the three of you. What kind of mother drinks during pregnancy? Right, come on. Let's get these forms filled in, yeah? Okay, so this gives you a general overview of the information required. And it's not...